Hello, welcome back to chapter 20 of the book that never seems to end, Travels with My Lamps. Well, this is chapter 20, this is where we're going to talk about lighting consoles. Uh, for you civilians, you may want to skip ahead because it's going to get, you know, pretty detailed into stuff you have no idea about and, well, hell, we barely do either, so. Anyway, here we go with the uh, completely biased uh, review of hardware. Uh, but I just love the life I lead, another beer is what I need. Another gig, my ears bleed. We are the road crew. Stan Ash, my first light board, the little briefcase board, and well, eventually it was exercised with a railroad spike. The Selco Golds, the 306090s, beautiful design, slick hardware, and a total penis extension. And uh, for your information, I'm uh, behind one right now. This is all being held up by a four year old Selco 90. Uh, Avo lights, solid rock and roll consoles. Man, you could beat on them like they owed you money. Uh, Strand, good for theater, shite for bands. Uh, 088, an English port. Uh, NASA uh, shaped sloping console. Had a cigarette lighter on the side. That was pretty swag. The Rydez 12 channel rock board. Old school glory. The Pulsar rock desk. Fuck yeah. Electro Control Celebrity Plus. That was the first lighting board at the Markham Theater. Uh, the Westbury Select. Well, that was a great console in its time. It's probably still at the Phoenix in Toronto. The C Factor Light Commander. So pretty and so doomed. High End System Status Q. Prone to failure. Also doomed. Whoa, hard stop. So I'm editing this together and I realize that I skipped over the one line item, the single greatest controller. The one set of controllers that did more for me than almost every other LD. I gotta take you out here. We're in the museum. We gotta talk about the high-end chiclet controllers. <laughs> It's very light, so it's good. LDS 12.8s and 24.12s, Canadian made, solid, feature packed, dependable, dependable light boards. Uh, Leprechaun, uh, simple, powerful, uh, winner for the worst bump buttons. Uh, ETC, electronic theater controls. Early stuff, rock solid, later stuff, kind of confusing. Uh, the ETC Obsession is the Klingon Bird of Prey. Compulate. The first viable moving light console, and one of my all-time closet favorites. Uh, Martin. Great lights, hit and miss consoles. Light Jockey. Just fucking die already. Jams. Practical, really well made. Uh, Vista. I kind of wish it didn't feel like light jockey. Hog. One, two, three, four. Meh. Fuck yeah, slightly better. Meh. Grand MA1. Fuck yeah. Grand MA2. Double fuck yeah. Grand MA3. Really? I'm still paying for this stuff. Power bar with a switch. Play the hand that you're dealt. And the winner of the console wars is, whichever one paid my day rate, honestly, I don't really care. Uh, they all do variations of the same thing. They turn lights on and off. I've banged out some of my best shows on the worst light rigs known to man, and I've had crappy nights on killer rigs. So if my friends in audio are still listening, let's head down to the studio. Welcome. You're now down in the basement. This is Sketchy Clown Studios. And well, now we're going to talk about soundboards for our friends in audio. The Shure Vocal Master. The Trainer YUM4. 
Roland, Tapco, PV, TOA, Studio Master, Soundcraft, 1S, 200, 400, 800, etc. Audio Pro, many of them, the 16S at the start. Yamaha, 2404, PM 1800, 2K, 3K, and the good old trusty TF1, right here. KDAC, Behringer, Mackie, Midas, and Yorkville, and probably a few others along the way. There's an old Stan Ash, 12 channel preset. Uh, Martin Freaky. That's a homemade Ethercon switch. Pulsar strobes, who doesn't love the Pulsar strobes? There's an SPX90, original, it's mine. Uh, color block DV4, some calm, and uh, oh look, some lights with railroad spikes through them. And the main part of the collection here, that is my very first light board. The Stan Ash 12 channel. Look at that. Independent control. Four submasters. That's crazy, man.